man-made Dead Sea with 250 kilograms of salt and see if I can float on water. Dead Sea? The one I read in textbooks? Exactly. And the hypersaline Dead Sea one can read newspaper and enjoy tea all while floating on water. I'd like to create one at home and see if it's really that magical. Gentle reminder. Professional operation. Imitation prohibited. First pour water into the pool until it reaches around 25 centimeters of depth. The water will be collected and reused later. Now add salt to the water. We're using industrial salt. The seller said it's not for mm -hmm. consumption, but suitable for a bath. Come on, one, two, three. Something broke. My back. <laughs> Still not enough? Keep doing it. How much more do we need to add? I've calculated. To achieve the selenium level of the Dead Sea, we need to add 300 grams of salt per liter of water. That much? Wow. It seems my dream has come true. What dream? To be this king of salt. Ah! After adding the salt, start stirring. Remember this broth? Our longtime fans know the answer. Now it should be close to saturation. Let's put a raw egg in the sea. Hey, it's floating! Since human body is less dense than egg, one can float on the water too. Okay, in you go! <laughs> According to Archimedes' principle, objects with lower density will float in the fluid with higher density. Human body has a density of 1.02 grams per cubic centimeter, which is less than that of an artificial dead sea. Therefore, a person can effortlessly float. Oh, I'm floating. Oh, let me check. Whoa, you really are floating. I have a question for you. Do you know the three places in China referred to as the Dead Sea?